It was a tale of two periods. Our first period was as good as it gets. Their second was as good as it gets. In game three, it was the best of times. In the first for the wild. And then the worst of times in the second. Last two, we, we got the... We gotta, we gotta battle harder, uh, even harder. Work for, for those bounces. Every battle that you don't win is an opportunity for the other team to get the puck and go down your end and, and perhaps score. So, um, desperation needs to be, needs to be ratcheted up quite a bit, uh, and we need to, we need to get better. Minnesota's 2-0 lead disappeared quickly, surrendering five unanswered goals in a perplexing loss to the Golden Knights. This team is a, a team that comes at you in waves and. We saw it in the second and the third there, and if there's any doubt in our mind, it's going to show. So we have to come ready to play um, on Saturday as a confident, positive group, take what we were able to do in the first period and translate into 60 good minutes. The Wild, they will be without Marcus Johansson the rest of the series as he suffered a broken arm in Game 3. Head coach Dean Evason says he hopes whoever is inserted into that lineup, Zach Parisi or Matt Boldy or someone else, will give them a spark this series. With the Wild, I'm Andy Mack, CARE 11 Sports.